It was business as usual for 10th year head coach Lorenzo Romar at Tuesday's men's basketball media day. But for his youngest team ever, the scene was somewhat of a new experience. Gone are guys like Isaiah Thomas, Matthew Brian Manning, and Justin Holliday. Will Abdul Gaddy emerge as a leader coming off an ACL injury? How about talented sophomore Terrence Ross? Or even highly touted freshman Tony Roten? Who's going to step up for this young squad? I think that those things sort themselves out. I, I think the last four or five years, uh, every year this time, we go in and there's a question. I think, you know, I've, I've said this many times. It, it started back when, uh, when Nate Robinson left. Nate was gone and Trey Simmons and Will Conroy, all those guys left at the same time. Well, who's going to replace, replace Nate's energy? And Brandon Roy stepped up and we took a little bit of a lapse after that, you know, but then who's going to replace John Brockman? Well, Quincy Pondexter stepped up. Now what are you going to do? You don't have Quincy. Well, a couple other guys, Matthew and Isaiah. So I, those things tend to sort themselves out. A big storyline is the return of Gaddy, who tore the ACL on his left knee last January. The junior point guard did some learning from the bench last season. Uh, I'm different in a lot of ways in that. Uh, it helped me because I got to watch the game from a coach's perspective. So I saw the game in a different way. I saw it from a coach's perspective. And it's going to help me become a better player this year. And then there's a six foot six Ross, who has already proven himself with a stellar offensive skill set. His defense, though, is a work in progress. And the thing that we're trying to impress upon Terrence is because of those physical attributes, you have the ability to control games when the ball isn't in your hands. And, you know, you ask me, what do you expect from Terrence? I, I didn't say he needs to average so many points. All that will take care of itself. He has that ability. The defensive end, be able to be consistent, playing with intensity, if he does that, then he's a really incredible, well-rounded basketball player. Though he's only a freshman, Garfield High grad and big-time recruit Tony Roten Jr. seems to be impressing already. We've been working now for, well, since September 15th, close to a month, right out of month, and Tony Roten has done everything with a capital E that we've asked him to do with I'm not going to say very little, I'm going to say zero resistance. So we've been very, very pleased with what he's done for us in terms of his approach and eagerness to uh, be a team guy and do whatever we ask. Then there's the big guys down low. Aziz Njai returns for his second season and looks bigger and stronger than ever, while senior Darnell Gant looks to help the Huskies become a great rebounding team. Because I feel like in the past year, you know, ever since John left, it's always been an issue of rebounding. And I feel like, you know, with, with uh, me, with Aziz, Desmond, and myself, you know, I think we can, you know, I'm striving to, you know, get in their heads about, you know, trying to be one of the best rebounding teams before I leave, you know, and trying to make that a, a point of emphasis. This might be Romar's youngest team ever, but that doesn't mean they won't compete in the new Pac-12. With a veteran coaching staff and some exciting playmakers, it'll be interesting to see how the Huskies look when the season begins on November 12th. Reporting for the Daily's Husky Highlight Show, I'm Taylor Soper.